Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Gemma with WGC. Welcome to rainy Thailand. Hopefully where you are right now, the weather is a little better than here. So today's yoga practice is going to be focused around the back and the spine, the lower back in particular. So as a yoga teacher, one of the most common problems that my students tell me about is lower back pain. And this can be caused by various reasons, but one of the most common reasons I've found is with people that work in an office or in a job where they're sitting for long periods of the day. Now, the lower back pain that lots of people experience is actually linked to tight hips from sitting for this long period of time. So today we're going to work on all six movements of the spine so flexion extension side bending and twists but also we're going to work with the hips as well so hopefully we can loosen the hips and ease any lower back pain you may be struggling with so it's going to be quite a slow therapeutic practice today and we're going to start laying down so if you want to come onto your back and come into what's called constructive rest with the knees bent and the soles of the feet on the mat and you can bring the knees to touch, you can bring the feet out a little wider. And just relax here, let the shoulders sink down, the head relax into the mat. And you can close the eyes if you like. You can bring one hand to rest onto your belly and the other hand can rest onto your heart centre. And we'll take the first few moments here to connect to the breathing and to bring ourselves into the present moment. So just becoming aware of the sensation of your body, feeling the weight of your body resting down into the earth the heaviness of the physical body. Notice the sensation that you feel on your skin. Perhaps there's a breeze or the air that you can feel against your skin. Observing your environment, the sounds around you, any smells in the air. Just bringing yourself into the present moment, the here and the now. Just to become aware of your natural breathing. And with your hands resting on your body, you can feel as you breathe in, the belly and the chest rise up as they expand. Then as you breathe out, how they fall and trap. Trying to keep your awareness on this subtle movement of your breath. Now from here, releasing the hands, bend your knees and draw the knees in towards your chest. So you can wrap your hands around the calves. And just start to rock gently side to side here to massage the lower back into the mat.
and then coming back to stillness with your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on your left knee. Toes remain touching. Inhale to draw the knees in a little closer and then push the knees apart. Exhale to create a circle, drawing the knees all the way back around to touch. To inhale, drawing the knees in and then away. Exhale, finishing that full circle there. So finding this flow of movement connected to your natural breathing. This is a really nice, gentle way to loosen up the hips. Also to ease any soreness or tension that you may be feeling in the lower back. And then switch direction, so you're drawing these circles the other way. And bringing the knees back together. Keep your right knee hugging in towards you, but straighten the left leg along the mat so you can release the left leg there. Now you can interlace your fingers over that right calf, right shim, as you gently start to draw the thigh a little bit closer towards the chest. Just observing the sensations in the lower back, making sure that that's not creating any pain. If it is, back away a little bit, you don't have to squeeze the knee in so hard. Now bring in your left hand onto the top of your left hip to keep this hip in place. So we want to keep this hip in contact with the mat and you'll start to open this right knee out to the side. So you can keep your hand on the knee as you open that right hip. So your hips are staying facing up and the left hip doesn't lift up. So you might find that you can only bring the knee a little bit down or you might be able to bring it quite far, it doesn't matter. Just finding where your edge is here. And let's hold and breathe in to that right hip joint. And bringing the knee back up, switch hands, and you're going to bring the knee across the body for a supine twist. So drawing the right knee across. You can keep the left hand on the knee, and then you can reach your right arm out to the side. Taking a few breaths here. Be sure this right shoulder stays in contact with the mat. Send the breath to the spine, to where you're feeling this twist in the spine. Gently draw the knee back up. And then straighten this right leg along the mat, releasing the leg. And bend the left knee, hug the left knee in towards you. And again, start to draw the fire a little closer towards you, but make sure that that doesn't create pain. You might feel the stretch, you might feel some sensation, but we don't want to experience any type of pain. So finding that sweet spot on this side. Then bringing the right hand to the right hip to hold it here in place. Start to open that left knee out to the side. Hips stay facing up. And you may notice that you can draw the knee further down on one side compared to the other. If one hip is more open, which is really common. So this posture might look different on this side than it did on the previous side. 
breathing in to that left hip joint, exhaling into the tension that arises there. Gently draw the knee back up to center, switching hands for the sublime twist. Start to draw the knee across the body, extend the left arm out to the side, and gaze to the left fingertips. Keep the left shoulder in contact with the mat. So it's not about drawing that knee all the way down to the floor. few more breaths here. Start to bring the knee back up to centre. Release the leg along the mat. Okay, now bend both of the knees. So you're planting the feet on the mat. We're going to work with bridge pose. So first of all, we're going to do it dynamically and then we're going to hold the posture. So when we come up into bridge pose, when we lift the hips, you really want to engage the core here and, and that's going to protect the lower back. So this is a really great pose for strengthening all of the muscles around the back. So rooting the feet firmly down. As you inhale, start to lift the hips up engage the core engage your quads here so you're hugging your thighs together at the same time reach your arms up and over hold for a second at the top of the inhale and then exhale we're going to lower back down as you release the arms back down through the side so let's do this three times move with the breath inhale lift the hips up arms come overhead Exhale, lower. Nice, slow, mindful movements here. Two more of these. Inhale, come up. Exhale, to release. Last one. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, to release. Allow the whole spine to come back in contact with the mat. Bring the feet a little further apart and with the knees touching, just drop the knees from side to side for windscreen wiper motions to release any tension that may have come up in the lower back there. And now we're going to do the posture again. This time we're going to do the static version where we hold it. So the more traditional version of bridge pose so again pushing the feet into the mat inhale lift the hips up but this time you keep your arms on the mat and then clasp the hands behind your lower back and start to walk the shoulder blades closer in towards each other you can push the the shoulders the upper arms into the mat to find a little bit more height keep hugging the thighs close together so the knees aren't splaying out to the side. Take one more breath here. Exhale, release the hands, slowly lower all the way back down, rolling vertebra by vertebra until the entire back is on the mat. Take a few more of those windscreen wiper motions here. Releasing any tension. Okay, from here, hug the knees in towards you. We're going to start to make our way up to seated by rolling up and down the spine. So start with some small movements. Rolling along the spine. Then make the movements bigger with more momentum so you can come all the way up to seated. Finding a comfortable seated position if you need to sit on a pillow or a block, you can do so. I 
And when we're seated, we want to have the correct posture here. We want to be sitting really straight and lengthened. We want the spine to be nice and lengthened and long. So commonly when we're sitting, we'll start to lean back and we'll hunch the shoulders like this. But we want to push the chest slightly forward, draw the shoulders slightly back, rooting the sitting bones down into the mat. And you want to imagine that you have a line of energy that is moving up through your spine all the way up through the crown of the head. Almost like your, the top of the head is being pulled up towards the sky. So in this seated position, we're going to work with the six movements of the spine. We're going to do some seated cat-cow movements here for the flexion and extension. So start with cactus arms, which was with the uh, elbows bent and palms facing forward. Now, release your current breath completely. On your inhale, start to draw the elbows back as you open the chest. Maybe you're going to gaze up here. As you exhale, I'm going to round through the spine, bringing the chin into the chest and bring the elbows to top. Inhale, open the chest, draw the elbows back. Exhale, rounding through the spine, elbows come to touch. Do three more of these. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you round. So with every inhale, we're creating this gentle extension, this gentle back bend. And with the exhale, we're creating the flexion of the spine, the opposite movement. Okay, so after your last exhale, release the hands, come back to your neutral position with a straight spine. From here, we're going to work with twisting. So twisting is a great way to also strengthen the back muscles. And when we twist, we want to use the core to initiate the twist. So bring your hands together to heart center. As you inhale, push the sitting bones into the mat to keep the length in the spine and engage the core. So draw the belly button in. As you exhale, with that core engaged, start to twist towards the right side using the strength of the core rather than drawing the shoulder back. Once you reach the point where you stop, take another inhale, find more length in your spine. As you exhale, go a little deeper. Now you can start to draw the, the back shoulder, the right shoulder back a little bit as you bring your gaze towards it. Challenge yourself to keep your thumbs in contact with your sternum here. Let's hold for three breaths. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, twist. Last breath. And slowly release, coming all the way back to center. Just take a moment to let the spine realign here. And we'll twist to the other side. So inhale, push the sitting bones down, lift up through the spine and the crown of the head. Engage in the core on the exhale, using the core strength to initiate that movement. Inhale again here. Exhale, go in a little deeper, bring your gaze to your back shoulder. Hold for three breaths. Gently release as you come all the way back to center. And release the hands. So now we'll work with stretching the sides of the, the body. Release your right hand or your right fingertips perhaps onto the mat. 
keep the spine straight on your inhale you're going to reach up with the left arm on the exhale start to stretch over to that right side as you start to walk with the fingertips or the hand further away if it feels comfortable in the neck gaze up to your arm otherwise keep your gaze down we're going to take five breaths here now as we hold you might be able to bend the elbow a bit maybe you can bend the elbow enough so that the forearm comes to the mat if not keep the arms straight so breathe into that left rib cage here last breath slowly coming all the way back up releasing the left hand other side with the left fingertips or the left hand on the mat inhale reach the right arm up exhale start to lean into that left side walking the hand away as you go deeper into the stretch gaze up to the top arm five breaths here keeping the breath relaxed and smooth to help you go deeper as we hold Okay, slowly let's come all the way back up, releasing the hands. Coming over into a tabletop position onto all fours. So here you'll bring your knees about hip distance and the hips are going to be stacked over your knees. We're going to move into another extension, another back bend called anahata or heart melting pose so we'll keep the hips stacked over the knees but we'll walk the hands forward keep walking your hands forward and then start to bend the elbows release the forearm down to the mat now bringing the forehead down but sinking the chest also down towards the mat as you do this you can gently push the hips back as you lower the forehead as you sink the heart center so your forehead might come to touch the mat. You can release it here. Now bringing your awareness to your heart center, imagine there is a magnet here in the middle of your heart. That's drawing your heart towards the ground. as well as a great stretch for the back. This is also really good for the shoulders. And if you want to deepen this shoulder stretch even further, you can bring your palms to touch and then bring this prayer position over your head to the back of your head. So you're more on your elbows than your forearms. Just an option, if that doesn't feel good, return to the previous position. Okay, so releasing the hands back onto the mat. Now from here, rock yourself forward until you can lower the hips down and you come into this prone position in a sphinx pose. So let's hold sphinx for five breaths. So your shoulders should be stacking over your elbows and your arms are about shoulder width apart. Keep the chest open here. But if it feels good, you might want to circle the neck a few times with some neck rolls. Particularly if you do have any tension in the shoulders, that can help. And if you're rolling your head, switch direction now, go the other way. Okay. Now gently lower your chest down towards the mat and bring your hands, plant the palms down 
to the outside of your mat, to the top corner. So your hands will be just in front of your face. Bring your feet a little wider, staying on the, on the tops of the feet. We're gonna work with some dynamic cobra back bends here to really strengthen the back. So push the hip bones into the mat as you inhale, start to lift up. But you want to lift up by using the, um, the muscles in the lower back rather than just pushing into the hands. So to strengthen the back, you can even try to float the hands off the mat for this first one just so you can feel the difference of using the back muscles whereas versus pressing into the hands like that. So hold here. And then exhale, lower. So we're gonna do two more of these. You can keep the hands on the mat or you can come onto your fingertips also. Inhale, lifting up. Keep the back muscles working here and exhale to release. One more time, inhale. And exhale, lower. And bring the hands underneath your shoulders, bring the feet together, the knees together, and let's push into child's pose. Fold over the thighs, Draw the hips to the heels, relax the forearms, relax the forehead down to the mat. So to soften all of the muscles in the lower back that were just engaged. Three more breaths here. So slowly come up to your tabletop position, bring the knees hip distance apart, tuck the toes under, Spread the fingers to root the hands and let's lift the hips up and back to come into a downward facing dog. So take a few moments to pedal out your legs here. Bend one knee, straighten through the other leg. Switch, alternating from side to side. Then come to find some stillness here. And bend your knees. So feel free to keep a bend in your knees. We want to focus more on the back being straight rather than the legs. So you might notice when you straighten the legs, your spine starts to round here. So bend the knees a little bit more and you can straighten through the spine and lift the hips up a little bit more. Okay, on your next inhale, let's step the right foot forward, planting it in between the hands and drop your back knee for this kneeling lunge. Keep your back toe tucked under and bring your hand to this right thigh. And let's take a few moments to pulse up and down, very slow, slight movement. So you're moving very subtly to open through this right hip a little bit more and also it brings a great stretch to the, the front of that left thigh and the groin there. So all of these muscles, the groin and also the, in the muscles in the thigh and the hamstrings and the quads, these all connect to the hip joint. So we want to work with all these different muscles in order to create more flexibility there. 
Okay, now on an inhale, come back to those cactus arms, elbows are bent. Exhale here, sink a little lower. Inhale, straight through the spine, start to lean back here. Gazing up, keep your core engaged. Just going as far as feels comfortable for you. Holding for two more breaths. Drawing the elbows back, keep opening the heart center. Exhale to release. Release the hands. Now come onto the fingertips. Start to extend this right leg. Inhale, look forward, straight in the back. Exhale, fold over this right leg. So you might need to keep a bend in the knee, you might be able to straighten it completely. You also have the option to lift the toes, draw the toes towards you, to really stretch into the back of that right leg further. Okay, re-bend in the knee, plant the hands, lift your back knee, Step all the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale to step your left foot forward, plant it in between the hands, drop the back knee. So you're in your kneeling lunge on the other side. And hands onto the thigh. Again, we're gonna pulse very slightly here. In any type of lunge, whether you're in a kneeling lunge or a high lunge, you want to keep the knee stacked over the ankle. So make sure that it's not coming past the ankle like that. Okay, on your inhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows back, open the chest, exhale into that space. Breathe into the heart center, let's hold. One more breath here. Slowly release. Come onto the fingertips, start to extend through this front leg, the left leg. Inhale, gaze forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Maybe you'll draw the toes towards the face. Allow the back to start to round here. Okay, re-bend the knee, plant the hands. This time lift your back knee and step forward. So we're gonna step into Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Relax your arms here, relax your head, your neck. Keep the knees soft and really just let yourself hang. Feel the contact of the feet against the ground, holding you firmly here, rooted into your mat on the floor. Now keep the knees bent, engage the core as you slowly roll all the way up. Now as you come up, take your time, feeling each vertebra of the spine unravel as you come all the way up to standing. Okay. So have your feet slightly apart. If it feels more comfortable, bring them together. But for a lot of people's hips, it's more comfortable to bring the feet about hip distance. So whichever works best for you. Relax the arms by the body. Close the eyes. Let's take a few centering breaths here. We're going to do a few rounds of half sun salutations 
to work with a flexion and extension of the spine. So on your inhale, reach your arms up, palms can come to touch. Now we'll start to open the chest, the chest for a little back bend here, keep the core engaged. Exhale, soften the knees and fold forward. Keep the knees soft and you're hinging from the hips as you're coming down. Now release the hands. On your inhale, find a halfway lift. So you're straighten the legs and the back. Your fingertips might come to your calves or they might touch the mat. Gaze forward, keep the back straight, keep the core engaged. On your exhale, fold back down, soften the knees. Inhale, come all the way back up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's do two more rounds of this. Inhale, reach up, open the chest, gently push the hips forward to open through the chest further. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge from the hips to Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, finding a halfway lift, straight back, straight legs, gaze forward. Exhale, soften. Inhale, rise all the way back up, palms to touch. Straight spine, exhale, hands down to heart center. Last movement, inhale, reach up. Open through the chest maybe going deeper into the back bend if it feels okay and then exhale lower inhale and halfway lift goes forward exhale soften inhale come all the way back up palms to touch exhale hands to heart center straight spine so your spine is stacking over your hips release the hands here Let's step the right foot back. Keep your hips forward so we come into a high lunge. So we did the kneeling version of this. Now we do the, the standing version. So bending that knee until it stacks over the ankle. Draw the left hip back slightly as you turn the right hip forward so your hips are squared to the front of your mat. Reach the arms up on an inhale. See if you can bring the upper arms in line with the ears as much as possible. Exhale, sink the hips a little bit more. Let's hold here for three breaths. Inhale, reach that right arm all the way back until it touches your back thigh. So to reach over with your left arm on the exhale to open the chest for a back bend. Keep your legs really strong. So grounding that front foot into the mat, keep your back leg active also. Exhale, I'm gonna windmill both hands to the mat, but place the right hand to the inside of the mat and then Reach this left arm up so you're twisting to your front knee, your left knee. Draw the left shoulder back, open the chest to the left side. Exhale, release the left hand. From here, step your left foot back to come into a plank position so your shoulders are stacking over the wrists. On the exhale, drop your knees, bend the elbows to lower the chin and the chest down. Inhale, release the hips, scoop up for a cobra. Again, engage the lower back muscles here. Exhale, tuck the toes, bring the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze in between the hands, either walk or step forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up, palms to touch. Exhale, hands come down. Release the hands. And we'll take high lunge on the other side. So this time you're stepping your left foot back. Bend your front knee, reposition the feet if you need to widen or shorten your stance, depending on the length of your legs. 
root the front foot down, try to straighten your back leg as much as you can. And even though your back heel is lifted, you're still drawing it down towards the mat. Draw the right hip back as you turn the left, left hip slightly forward to square the hips. Inhale. Bringing the upper arms alongside the ears. Just hold here for three breaths. Next, inhale, bring this left arm behind you to your back thigh. Exhale, start to reach the right arm over as you gaze up, finding your back bend here. So you can keep it gentle or you can go deep, depending on what your back allows today. Keep the legs strong. Next, exhale, windmill the hands, release the left hand to the inside of the foot, reach your right arm up, twist into that right knee. Draw the right shoulder back here. Okay, release the right hand. Now stepping back to your plank, take an inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower. Inhale, rise up to your cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, come onto your toes, lift the heels, step or walk forward, halfway lift, gaze forward, exhale, fold. Now from here, walk the feet to the width of your mat, turn the toes out so your heels are facing in. Gonna Sink the hips down, coming into Malasana Squat Pose. So as you come down, you might wanna keep your fingertips touching the mat for support. If you can come all the way down and you feel stable here, maybe you bring your hands together to heart center. And you, if you do this option, you can then work with opening the hips more because you have your upper arms to the inside of your thighs, which you can gently press against the knees of the thighs to open the hips a little bit more. Now we want the same posture here as we have seated. So it's common when you come into this pose, if you've got tight hips, the lower back is going to compensate and the spine will start to round, so you'll be hunching forward. So keep the chest open, push the chest open, draw the shoulders back. Remembering that line of energy coming up the spine and the top of the head. Three more breaths here. Okay, release the hands. Rock forward to lift the hips. Move slowly out of this. Bring the feet back into hip distance. Soften the knees, take hold of opposite elbows and just swing gently side to side in this ragdoll position. Now from here, release the hand. So you can step straight to downward dog or you can step to plank if you like to take one last flow. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, find your back bend here. And exhale, we come to meet in downward facing dog. From your downward dog, drop your knees, come to the mat. Bring your hips to the side and then bring your legs out in front of you. We're going to work with some seated postures here. So first of all, we're gonna work actually with a seated twist. So this twist is gonna go deeper 
than the first seated twist we did at the start of the practice. So bend in your right knee, bring the foot in towards you and then place the foot over your left leg. So you can keep this left leg straight. If you prefer, if it feels comfortable, you can bend this leg also. So the foot will come next to your hips, but both your sitting bones should be in contact with the mat so you're not sitting on your foot. If it feels too tight, too constricted, keep this leg straight. If by bending this leg as well, it means that you're losing the posture and you're hunching forward, again, extend that leg. So your right hand comes behind your lower back and bring the fingertips close to your backs for support. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Engage the core, exhale, use the core muscles to twist to the right as you bend that elbow. You can try to hook the elbow to the outside of that knee. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, you can now gently press the elbow into the knee. Keep the core working at the same time. Bring your gaze behind you. We're gonna hold for three more breaths like this. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, maybe going a little deeper if your spine opens up for it. Slowly release on your next exhale, come all the way back to centre. Now extend the bottom leg if it's bent and bring your right foot either to the inside of the left thigh like this. You might need to bring it to the inside of the, the shin instead or if your hips are quite open and you want to go deeper here, you can actually take like a half lotus placing the foot on top of that um, left thigh close to the hips so you're bringing the toes close to the hips but that's only if your hips are really open for most people you're going to be here with the foot against the thigh make sure the spine is straight we're going to take forward fold here inhale to reach the arms up bringing the upper arms alongside the ears as you exhale hinge from the hips a hinge in motion like we did with a standing forward fold and you'll know if you're hinging from the hips or if you're rounding in the upper back because if you're rounding in the upper back your arms are going to come down whereas if you're in hinging from the hips the upper arms will stay in line with your ears and then when you do reach that point where the the movement stops release the hands to the leg or the foot wherever they come to now relax the head here. And you may want to just hold in stillness. Sometimes I find it's nice to come halfway up on the inhale. So you'll take a halfway lift the gaze to the toes and then you'll exhale, fold back into it. Now, if you do that a few times, it can help to Soften and relax the muscles in the back and in the, in the hips, which may help you come a little bit deeper. Or maybe just help to find more ease where you are. If you feel a pull in the hands, in the left hamstring, keep a bend in your knee and that's going to help you find more flexion here also if you bend that knee. Three more breaths here. So it's will come all the way back up. Nice and slow, engage the core a little as you come up to protect the lower back. You can bring the right leg, the right knee in and extend the leg. So let's twist to the other side, bending your left knee in, 
placing the foot over your right leg. So if you did so on the other side, you can bend this bottom leg. If not, keep it straight. Left hand comes behind you. Fingertips on the mat. Inhale as you reach your right arm up. Exhale, use the core muscles to initiate that twisting motion towards the left. Bend the elbow, elbow comes to the outside of the knee. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, gently pressing the elbow into the knee. Deepen the twist, gaze behind you. Three more breaths like this. Slowly release, come back to center. If your bottom leg is bent, extend it. Bring the foot to the thigh, the calf, or to your half lotus, whichever you did on the other side. Ground the sitting bones, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in from the hips. Take your time. When the movement stops, release the hand, relax the head. Option to come up halfway on an inhale and lower back down on the exhale. Any tension in that right hamstring, just bend the knee slightly. And let's hold here. Okay, slowly coming all the way back up. We're gonna take one more forward fold here, Balakanasana butterfly pose. So you can bend that right knee and bring the soles of the feet together. So you can have the feet far away, more like a diamond shape. If the hips are tight, you wanna go for that variation. If your hips are quite open and you can go deeper, you can bring the feet closer towards you. So ground the sitting bones into the mat, have a straight spine. And to loosen the hips, you can draw the knees up and down a little bit here, like you're flapping your butterfly wings. Okay, now preparing for the forward fold. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, you can keep your hands on your feet as you lower yourself down. And as you come down, you might have to reposition the feet either further away or closer towards you. Relax the head and let's hold for five breaths. Slowly come all the way back up. Extend the legs. And then you can come down onto your back. Okay, 
Once you've come down onto your back, bend the knees and hug the knees into the chest. Just rock side to side to massage the lower back into the mat here. And we'll finish the practice with a heart opener, fish pose. So you can extend your legs and come up onto your forearms and bring the hands in so you're sitting on your hands. Point the toes away from you, root the forearms into the mat to lift the chest up, opening the chest to the sky. Now you can drop your head back. The head might come down to touch the mat or it might just hang. Now, if this is uncomfortable on your neck, you can keep your gaze to your toes, but just keep that motion of opening the heart center here. Let's hold for five breaths. Lifting the head nice and slowly, bringing your gaze to your toes. Release the hands, come all the way onto the mat. Rock the head a few times side to side if there's any tension in the neck after that. And we'll take our final resting pose, Shavasana. If before your Shavasana you need to hug the knees to the chest once more, you can do so if that will help you release further and when you're ready relax the legs let the toes fall to the sides arms can splay out to the sides let the shoulders sink down into the mat bring your awareness to your lower back and just make sure that all of the muscles around the spine, the lumbar spine, are as relaxed as they can be. So soften the muscles here a little bit more. And do the same with the hips. Soften all of the muscles around the hip joints. Close your eyes. and bring your awareness to your natural breathing.
So to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Start to deepen your breath. Reawakening the body. Maybe rock the head from side to side. And take a full body stretch here. So reach your arms over your head. Point the fingers away and point your, the toes away from you. Stretch through the side, the front side of the body. And release. Then clasp the hands, turn the palms away. Flex the feet so you're pushing the soles of the feet away from you. Stretch through the back side of the body. And release. Bend the knees, hug the knees back in towards you. Maybe a few rolls or rock side to side here. Before you roll over onto one side. Slowly come up to a seated position. Keeping your spine straight. Bring the hands together. I'm going to end the practice by chanting three ohms together. So you can either join in or just listen to the powerful vibration of um. So releasing your current breath. And let's inhale to prepare. Um. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel as we'll be posting content every day. Thank you, namaste.